What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Thank you so much. Uh, There's such a great response on the last video. Theory is dead. Focusing on Scarlet Begonias and more theory about what you can play in that kind of solo. So for today, we'll continue that same series, Theory is Dead, but we'll look at Eyes of the World. Enjoy the video. Also, not sure if anyone really wants to know, but gear-wise, this is what I'm using for this video. I'm running my... Wellagen Overdrive Special on both the clean and the overdrive channel for some of the parts. And that is running into the Universal Audio Aux, which is going into Luna. Guitar-wise for this video, as you saw, my PRS John Mayer Silver Sky. Roll lesson. Enjoy. So, dead theory number two. Today we'll look at Eyes of the World, as you saw previously in the jam, one of my favorite Grateful Dead songs. So much fun to play and an even more fun soloing section. So let's dive into it. So as you saw, the intro part of this jam was E major seven, D major seven, G sharp minor. Right? Come the soloing section, it becomes more complicated because you add this B minor and this A major. Right? Which is really cool, but we'll talk about how theory wise this is kind of weird. So, what do you think about this kind of stuff? Over this E major 7 chord, you're playing your E major scale. Right? And like I see in a lot of videos, it's important to know everywhere you can play the scale, right? Right? You can also do it here. Now to the B minor, what do you play? Well, if we're looking at just a B minor scale, it would be kind of weird, because like B minor scale would be B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, right? Now that really doesn't work in the context of the whole song. So we'll modify this B minor scale to become a B Dorian scale, which would be a minor scale, but with a major sixth. In this case would be B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. Right? Here's the cool thing also. This B Dorian scale is essentially the same thing as an E Mixolydian scale. Right, because if we refer this B Dorian scale in regards to E Mixolydian, you have this B, which is your fifth, the C sharp, which is your sixth, D, which would be your flat seven in E Mixolydian, your root, 
F sharp being your second, G sharp being your third, A being your fourth, and B being your fifth in regards to E mixolydian. It's really cool. So, to recap, over this E major seven, E major scale. Over this B minor, you're playing B Dorian slash basically E mixed Lydian because they're the same notes. Right? Now, B Dorian, right, is the exact same thing as A major. Right? Because A major is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Which, if we're comparing that to B Dorian, would be A would be the seventh, B would be the root, C sharp would be the second, D would be the minor third, E would be the fourth, F sharp would be the fifth, G sharp would be the major sixth, and A will again be the flat seven of B Dorian. So basically, you're still keeping that B Dorian scale, which is the same thing as an A major scale when you go to this A, right? So in context, we'll do E major seven. Now when we go to the B, you can hit that D. major seven. So that's how I'm figuring it out. I'm saying, again, to reiterate, E major seven. I'm soloing E major scale. B minor, I'm basically saying, okay, cool. I can solo if I want in, in A major because B Dorian and A major are the exact same scale. So I'm seeing the fretboard as A major all over the place. to E. Right? So, more context, we can do something like A Now the cool thing is when you have all this, you can realize that you don't have to hit the root every single time, right? So when you're in this E, you can do, hit that major seven, you go to this B, you can hit your D, which is the minor third. Hit the major third, that's C sharp when you go to A. G sharp implies you're back to this E major seven, if that makes sense. Stuff like that you can do, right? And that's Eyes of the World. All right guys, that's today's video. Theory is dead, number two, focusing on Eyes of the World. Hope you enjoyed today's video because I sure did making the track in the beginning and explaining everything. It's really fun for me, personally, teaching and saying, oh, how you can think of all these as one. The guitar is basically just a huge puzzle and you're just figuring it out. Well, we're all figuring it out together. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, 
please press like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see a certain song in the future on this Theory is Dead series, let me know down below. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.